Hello, hello. This is Mystery Girl, and you are listening to Shut Up and Listen on WPKN 89.5 FM. And I have Feli on the line. Hello. 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 Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing excellent. I'm just waking up from a nap, making some tea, you know. Beautiful. Uh, see, I was going to, that was one of my first questions, actually. You beat me to it. I always ask people what they're doing when I call. Yeah, just, just rising up right now. Okay. And where are you uh, calling us from? Uh, right now I'm at home. Uh, I'm in CT. Okay. I go to school in LA. I go to USC. Uh, but I'm home for the summer, so I'm just kicking it, taking it easy for the summer. Oh, nice. I saw you still have that 203 number, and um, I looked you up. I was doing my lurking, and I saw you were from Connecticut, which makes me excited because yeah, obviously absolutely. anyone you know from CT, from the hometown, um, I love to speak with, making it. So. No doubt. You're from Trumbull, I, I read. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, I'm from Trumbull, so I'm in Trumbull right now, but, uh, you know, I'm all over. Yeah, Central all County. over the place. So let's uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, yeah. Let's start talking about your EP, actually, Young Fell. Yeah, um, I like dropping the an EP. Uh, it's my first EP that I've ever put out, but I put out, like, three or four projects before this. Yeah. But, uh, Young Fell EP is the name of it, and it'll be out July 22nd yes. on uh, iTunes and Sound- uh, Spotify and all of them. Auto sites, you know. I like the name, by the way. Maybe Thank you. Yeah. It, was my, it was my homie, uh, Jips, Jips's idea to, to name it that. That's my roommate and also my partner who we produce with and do shows with. Definitely dope. I might start calling myself Young young MG. I don't know. Young you Mystery Girl, to. you know? I just For real. Steal, steal it from you. But um, mm-hmm. so there, I saw there are eight songs on there and I checked out um, actually the only two that you can really listen to at this point, right? Desert Eagle and I Really Need It. Yeah, those are the two singles that we got out right now. Uh, I dropped I Really Need It like two days ago, but uh, Desert Eagle's been out for a minute now, and uh, yeah, they've both been going well. Yeah, I like them both. I really do. I have to say Desert Eagle is a... a fa- I was bumping that on the way here. It's a, definitely yeah. a Mr. Girl favorite right more, now. Uh, Anthem was one, 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 another one that came out of the uh, family room. Yeah, it's just it has that feel. It has that like on um, the shiz feel, you know. I like it. Yeah. So I was definitely yeah. bumping that with the windows down. Um, and then I really need it. You just came back from Jamaica, right? Were you shooting the video for that in Jamaica? Yeah, I took a trip down to Jamaica. Um, I have a few friends who stay down there, and uh, I've been down a few times. And uh, so we just wanted to shoot something there, and we thought that. I really need it would be like the best fit because it has some, sort of like a dance hall, uh, hip hop blend. Definitely. And uh, so, yeah, I, I talked to my boy, Zach Jones, who lives down there, and we got people together and, and filmed something really cool. So, th- that should be coming out in a few weeks from now. That's awesome. How uh, was your time in Jamaica? So sick. It's always, I, I love it down there. Just the people and just overall energy is just, it, you can't beat it. And it just really takes you takes you back and makes you sit down and reflect a little bit so yeah i like to touch jamaica every year so yeah i was i was gonna say you've been there a bunch of times so i've seen it i mean i see it on your youtube i also read um i also saw i really need it you you wrote something about you recorded it on a on your couch on a couch with your friends yeah that's what I was how that happened like tell me um but that's we just like make music in in our apartment in la and uh we just kind of have this little family room area where Chips and I produce and write songs and, you know, record them. But for that song particularly, we uh, we had, like, a bunch of homies over and just had, like, a dynamic mic, which is, like, not the best mic, but it's, like, one of those black kind of a stage mic rather than a studio mic. And uh, I was just kind of, like, humming into it, and we hit record, and uh, we made a full song out of it. So, yeah, that's, yeah. that's how that one happened. I think that's pretty cool. I think the stories behind how songs are made are... Are pretty cool. So yeah, I to ask that one felt the most natural, you know, because you can, I don't know, the atmosphere of, of when you are recording it, what you're feeling is, is essentially what the song is and how the song feels. It comes off for sure, and it's mm-hmm. it's a good song. Um, and then the uh, the other ones people will hear on Friday, July 22nd when it's dropping. So I'll just uh, remind people about that to grab that July 22nd, Friday, and then you're dropping the EP and then you're doing a show the day after Saturday, July 23rd at Fairfield theater. Yeah. Fairfield theater company. Uh, that's my second time going back there. Um, it's just always nice to do something for where I like kind of grew up and spent my time. So yeah, we'll be taking over Fairfield theater company. It'll probably sell out. So 
for the people who don't take it, uh, I would advise you to get one. And yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a night. Yes, I love Fairfield Theater. Um, I'll be oh, there. Mystery Girl will be there. Yeah, it's a great place. So everyone, get your tickets. They can um, get them on the Fairfield Theater website, obviously. And then your website is youngfell dot com, right? Yeah, that's like a new site that we're we're working on for the. Uh, for the EP release, so yeah, tickets can be found at youngspell.com. Okay, great. And then you'll yeah. be in, uh, I saw you'll be in Philly, and then Texas, you have a couple dates in Texas. And then is that it? Is it a short tour? Um, yeah, the be my add a, 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 another date or two, but uh, I just came off like a 20-plus tour, it's a 17 tour a few months ago, or, or a couple months ago. Okay. And so uh, we're just trying to like let it breathe a little bit and, and get more music out there, and uh, yeah, until, until the next leg. But this is just going to be like a mini EP tour just to, you know, spread the, spread the, Push the, the new, music. new music. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Then. Mm. So um, I do have to ask you uh, about your YouTube because I was definitely, I was going, I was going in the archives, man. I was going in the, uh, the it's Fell Nuts, right? I was going yeah, in yeah, the, um, the Fell Nuts, Nuts YouTube archives. And I mean, that's kind of where things kind of started for you or happened for you in YouTube, right? Yeah, uh, I've had that account for like ever, and that's I just been posting everything I've been doing for the past like decade almost. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I I saw you. I saw you like as a very young. You had to be like I don't know, fifteen, maybe younger. Yeah, that's, that's the real young self. But oh is, man, uh, I went all the, the way. Culmination of it. <laughs> I went all the way back, and I thought it was just really cool. Um, some of the ones I clicked on, I watched. Um, I and the titles are some of the titles are funny too. Like, uh, pale kid raps at normal speed. I watched that one. That was that's an classic, old one. Classic video. You oh know, like, yeah, like, I loved it. <laughs> And um, I just saw, like, the, the fell cam videos and stuff like that. And then just watching from the bottom, you know, and then the, the newer videos, it's just, it's it's interesting seeing the progression. But you've been doing this for a while, and, you know, in your room, making these videos, making the beats, rapping, um, and then now you're here. Yeah, it's yeah. really transparent. You know, you can see everything that, like, I'm, I'm not hiding anything from the public. You can see the whole come up organically. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, I, I like plan to continue to do that you know people want to get to know the artists that they're listening to yeah and uh my youtube just kind of has everything about me it, it really does i think that's really cool uh, some you know i noticed some artists they'll delete the older things you know when they get bigger they'll delete the you know if they're embarrassed or whatever they'll delete that yeah, stuff I but you left about, it I you... about that but I'm, <laughs> no you can't you can't like it happens no, it's real. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's really cool that you can see that. And um, it, it show your fans, obviously, like, you know, I was reading the comments, and they love that they can see that and that you have that stuff up there. So, so yeah, I, yeah I think that's cool. I saw, and uh, I want to also comment on, um, there was one called Beats and CT. Of course, I have to, you know, shout that one out because Connecticut. Um, but you made the beat for, and this is one of my favorite songs. That's why I'm going to call this one out, um, Seventh King. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've, I've made a, a lot of my own beats, like Sunday, Seven King, uh, Sella. Yes. Yeah, so um, and that was from, like, using Machine and uh, Logic and Pro Tools and working with people and making those beats and just writing songs. Mm -hmm. I know. I thought it was cool to see, see you do that one um, uh, in particular because I really like that one. Thank and, you. Yeah. That yeah. one has a weird step to it. It's like jazz. I it's love not, it. I love yeah. it. It's different. It's it's a mix of, you know, two things you wouldn't think to mix, but it sounds really good. So Thank you. Mystery Girl likes it. And then I and I saw I also noticed you have um I, I think you call him D D Brew. Yeah. I saw that kid. He's still he's still in all the videos. He started out with you. So I noticed you you still have the same people around you. Yeah, same squad. Uh, you'll see my boy Kyle and a lot of them too. Kyle's mm -hmm. getting like low key famous. Oh, funny. there we go. People at shows see him. He hates it. It's great. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm the same squad. You know, I just have like two squads now since I moved out to LA. So I have all the kids over there and uh, all my people here. And so it's, it's yeah, yeah. God, how, I'm blessed. You know, that's great. How's LA living, by the way? How long? How long have you been out there? Did you say? I've been out there for three years now. Uh, I have one more year of school trying to finish that up ASAP yeah uh, and then uh, yeah I'll probably live out there after yeah you like you di very different from Connecticut yeah for sure yeah uh, but yeah there's, there's good and bad things about both sides yeah I'm like, going to assume that it's better there music wise you know getting things going music wise yeah there's just always things like happening like every, any night you're sitting on your couch you you could think of like 
just like tens and tens of twenty or thirty, like so many awesome like studio sessions going on yeah. all around you. Like people are just creating magic. Yeah. And, like right around you. So that's I really cool imagine. to think about. Yeah. Well, I also want to ask you. Um, so you know, I, I was watching the YouTube videos and stuff like that. Uh, and you're doing a lot of them in your room. Um, you know, to start out. I mean, actually, you're doing a lot of them in your rooms. So you, you, when you come back, I see you p- post some in your room as well. Uh, were mm-hmm. your parents supportive of the whole thing from the beginning? I mean, would they ever walk in on you and be like, "What are you doing in here?" <laughs> were they supportive of your music? Yeah, my mom loves my stuff. Um, I mean, they've always like they've just like. I've been clear when I want to like work and when I want to have my space and they, they know like the, the fruit that comes from that. So they give me my space, but mm-hmm. uh, there still is like a little bit of a, a weirdness of, of creating under their, their roof. But <laughs> that's why I can like go to school and get out of the house and do that. But especially coming back, it's really, it's really interesting to, yeah. you know, be like, mom, stop, stop and stop making dinner for a minute. I got to record this part. Yeah, she's I was, just totally cool with it, you know. Always, I was wondering, you know, how many times you get walked in on, or or someone's doing something, and you got to do the yeah, video. Yeah, definitely heard some 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 pretty loud and aggressive bars, just, <laughs> just trying to like clean up the basement and whatnot. But uh, what can you do, you know? Yeah, kids but, are crazy. Yeah. All right. So mm-hmm. um, unless there's anything else, um, you want to add anything you want to let the fans know, um, anything about your music or your tour. I think that's it. I just thank you to to you and to everyone who's been listening. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to drop this new EP, and uh, it'll be available on iTunes and SoundCloud July 22nd. So okay, I'm gonna remind people yeah, to come get see that. me in Fairfield if you're here the 23rd. Yes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank all you, right. Mr. Girl. Well, before before I let you go, I actually at the end of all my interviews, I ask people like weird random questions. So I have a few for you if you're game. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. So the first one, I ask everyone this. If your soul was transferred into an object right this moment, but you're still you and you can hear and see and feel everything, but you have to live the rest of your life out as this object, what object would you want to be? Um, first thing that came to mind was a blender. A bl- uh, I think I would be a blender for sure. Why a blender? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I really like I'm, I really love uh, milkshakes and what and like smoothies <laughs> and all sorts of blends. So okay, uh, if I could just take care of the people in the morning who who go to the blender and try to fix something up, I mean I'm I'm good with that. Okay, I like that. And then you get you get everything you love too, right? Yeah, I just be I just be blending all day. <laughs> I like that. I was like, where is he going with this? But no, I like that. Okay, that yeah. that was definitely that definitely is one I have not heard before. So um, we're good. <laughs> we're good on that one. All right, here's a here's one that I stump people with. It's it's a tough one for them. Okay, so would you? You have to pick one or the other. Would you rather be able to taste food, but you can't feel sex, or you can feel sex, but you can't taste food? Damn. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. I think I would have to go with food. Yeah, you like, would I, taste yeah, food. I, think I need to taste the food. It's just. I mean, no one's having sex as much as they're eating food. If they say they are, they're lying. But yeah, I need to. I need to taste my food. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's. You know, I don't even know which one I'd pick still, and I like to just ask people that and see. Luckily, we don't see. have to do either. So. <laughs> exactly. I get. I get half and half. So I haven't had one overwhelmingly. You know, I haven't had one answer that everyone. That's winning yet, so we'll see where yeah. that we'll see Let where that know what happens with it. I'll keep you posted for sure. All right, sure. Um, this one I, I haven't asked this one in a while, but I really think you would appreciate it. Um, I ask people what random superpower you would have. So it can't be a superpower that's you know a, a superhero has. It can't be you know like being invincible or being able to read minds or flying or running really fast. It has to be something completely random so and I'll give you some examples like um someone said that they wish that they could ne- their power would be that they could never get full they could just eat and never get full um someone said they'd be able to cu- cure all diseases so just something completely random it would probably be um to be able to just defeat sleep that's not too random but yeah, I, I think sleep sometimes is quite the burden and it's just like something you naturally have to do oh, yeah. but if I could not be sleeping you know that's like 
that's like double my, my day, you know? Yeah, you could get a lot more done. You could make a lot more music. Yeah, a lot of hits coming out oh, of Oh, yeah, so absolutely. If, if that's possible, yeah, I would take that one. All right, that's a good one. And I know those yeah. like that those that 3 a.m. hour, those late hours, That I feel like that's when the best stuff comes out of people, too, creatively, you know? Yeah, if you have energy to harness it. Yeah. Sure, you could get some... Some crazy vibes. Yeah, so I think that's a good that's a good superpower, especially for a for an artist for sure. All right, yeah. all right, all right. You're doing all you're doing well. Okay, so I'll ask you one more. Um, what and I this is you. I mean, this is just a fun question in general, but it's funny sometimes to ask in groups because I'll have you know someone call people out. But what's something weird um, that you do, like a weird quirk? I, I feel like everyone has something weird that they do that people are looking at them like, what are you what are you doing? Like, what's a weird quirk that you have that people might know about or people actually might not know about? Um, I like the smell of my own skin. Uh, so I <laughs> smell my arms <laughs> and like I'll have my arm or my hands, my face a oh. lot and just be like breathing and like it's like, yeah, I don't know what that is That's... at all. It's not too <laughs> yeah. weird. Like it's not too like I don't do it too much. No I mean, one, it, none do of my people like see you know, doing it and they're like, what? Yeah, I, I do just like sit there and just kind of like smell my skin and just like zone out. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Is it like a yeah. comfort thing? Is that what it is? I don't know what it is. I think I just got it just so I can like uh, answer questions like this. Like that's just my one weird thing. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I hope I catch you doing that at Fearful Theater. Um, that yeah, I might be a little in the zone, but <laughs> we'll see. All right, well, that's it then. I'll leave you alone. Um, you killed the weird oh. questions round. And I like the weird ones. They're good. Thank you. They're, yeah, everyone likes those. They're always fun. So I'll uh, remind people again, July 22nd, that's Friday, you're dropping the EP, and then you will be at Fairfield Theater at the Warehouse on Saturday, July 23rd. And, Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll see you there. Absolutely. Thank you so much no for, problem. Uh, for following me up and, and linking me. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate everyone listening. Absolutely. And I'm going to just throw this in there. If you want to come up with a little mystery girl freestyle, I won't be mad at you on you Saturday the 23rd. Wait, well, no, for, for Saturday the, the 23rd. <laughs> if if you know, if you have that for me on Saturday, I might I won't be mad. I'm just saying. I guess I'll get some bars ready for you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, no I'll doubt. see you then. We'll have a good rest of your night. All right. And I'll see you care. soon. Good Thank you. To you. you too. Adios. Bye.